Ghana. I think commissioners will sit here. Even though the Naivasha retreat has been termed as one to plan October 17th presidential election, reports indicate that the session will discuss the fate of Chibukati's damning memo to CEO Ezra Chiloba, which has bitterly divided the seven commissioners. It is reported that action on the memo was suspended until the commissioners deliberate the letter that essentially indicts Chiloba for serious alleged omissions and commissions in last month's poll. This, even as a project team of six IBC officials handpicked by Chebukati, got down to plan next month's poll after receiving their terms of reference. The team has been tasked to focus on fixing the errors witnessed in the electronic results transmission, foster public trust in IEBC and the election process, while enhancing logistical preparedness ahead of the national exercise. The fresh polled project team leader, Majan Hussein, has been tasked to oversee delivery of election activities in the entirety and control cost of services for a transparent electoral process. Mombasa County Returning Officer Nancy Karioki, who will speak to head logistics, has her role cut out for timely deployment of personnel and materials, enhanced quality and control of personnel and materials, while making plans for the safety of staff and election materials. Bernard Mosetti, who will speak to head the training function, will have to ensure improved understanding of roles and responsibilities among election officials with the aim of improving adherence to procedures on the election day. Kisi County Returning Officer Sidney Namulungu, who now heads operations in the Fresh Poll, will be in charge of ensuring adherence to the required checks and balances. He will have to comprehend the Supreme Court reasons for nullifying the presidential poll and pick out mistakes that must be avoided. Kitwe County's Albert Gogo, who will speak to head ICT, will have to await specific instructions from Chebukati. His role, however, critical in the fresh poll as the Supreme Court verdict heavily relied on the ICT systems that could not be verified or accounted for. While the role of Chiloba and five other officials blacklisted by the opposition alliance NASA in the fresh poll remains unclear, reports indicate that the project team could be expanded to include more officials. Sam Gitu Kosrizen, Weekend.